Hey guys, welcome to the video. You guys already know by the title of the video, it's another declutter. I think this is my last declutter before I finish my lipsticks, which I don't even know <laughs> how I'm going to do that. But I've already like decluttered a ton of skincare. This is not going into the declutter, but if you want to see all the other declutters, definitely go check them out down below. But anyways, we're going to do highlighters and bronzers today, which I think is going to be pretty easy so um yeah definitely be following me on Poshmark and such and all of that jazz and yeah all the info will be down below but anyways let's get into uh, the declutter so this one's going to be pretty simple like obviously I have all my Ofras over here that I'm not getting rid of I have two glazed donuts which are absolutely amazing we have the retrograde one I love the purple and we have this one, which I think is Space Baby, another Nikki Tutorials. Here we have a blush highlighter duo, super pretty. And then we have two more here, which I mean, not getting rid of. These two I've had for a while. They're actually really, really pretty, but I'm going to give these to my niece. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter them and put them over there. This I've had on my Poshmark before. I've literally used this once. Like, it's brand spanking new. So, I'm going to declutter it. Oh, it's not focused very well. That's not good. Okay, there we go. More focused. So, I'm going to declutter this. I have a bunch of these Kylie um, Ultra Glows. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's really old. Um, and it's pink. I don't ever wear it, like, ever. Um, but this one's old, so I'm just going to, you know, get rid of that one. Then I have Wisteria here, which I really never really wore, but it is really, really pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and um, keep it. Santorini was my all-time favorite. Still super, super pretty. Still I can use, even though this was 2017. Still perfect. And then we have Lightning Bolt, which is another one of my favorites, like more yellow, but like gorgeous. Boom. Let's get a good zoom yeah baby all right and then we have the Jacqueline Hill one here in extra you guys can't buy this anymore but it's so good I love it um this nude pure nude highlighter from Essence I'm gonna get rid of it's just way too like dark for me so like I don't need it so goodbye Natasha Edenona I love this powder for like an all-over glow not getting rid of. I have the Jaclyn Hill palette here. Absolutely beautiful. I use it all of the time. This I just got and I'm actually like excited to play with it because it does look like really perfect for me like honestly. So I can't wait to play with that. This one. Oh it, this has the best highlighter ever in spoiler alert. As you can tell I wear it quite a lot. Quite a lot. Um, and then here I have some more things. I have some Hourglass Cream Highlighters, which I wear a lot of cream highlighters, if I do say so myself. I just really like them. I have it in Champagne Flash and Pink Flash and Gold Flash. These are amazing. I just really like cream highlighters. And then I just got this one, which is another like, you know, cream family highlighter. Excuse the nails, by the way. Don't look at them. I'm having a rough time. Um, amazing. I realized, I think I want to like try and figure out how to use these. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to figure it out. And then of course this, I like to mix to have an overall glow on my face. And then this really old, actually, um, cotton candy cream highlighter from her first release of highlighters. Um, uh, it's still going to this day pretty strong, um, and I've used the heck out of it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. It's still, it's still a good thing. So I really haven't gotten anything, any rid of any highlighters, but I also don't buy a lot of highlighters because I'm pretty much set for life with what I love. Now moving on to bronzers and blushes. I have way too many. I need to get rid of some. This has been on my Poshmark before. This is the Nomad one. I just don't need it. It's really, really pretty, but it all looks a little bit too dark for me. So I am just going to get rid of it. Too Faced Coco Contour. I just, none of these shades are like perfect for me. So getting rid of it. 
The Park Avenue Princess I have used a little bit. Um, I used this shade the most, but it's pretty much like new. Like I really haven't used it that much. This one I used once for a video, um, so I could like do a full face of Tarte. Uh, I haven't really used it, so it's gonna go. Plus the bronzers aren't really for me. Oh, here's a blush that I know I want to get rid of from ColourPop. See, um, Inner Stellar Press Powder Blush. This just looks a little too dark on me, so that's why I have to get rid of it. It just, it makes me look a little too blushy, so it's time to move on. Oh, not getting rid of these ever. Oh my god, I use these all the time. Cookie is like the best highlighter, can you tell? <laughs> and plus, the blushes in here, you guys, are absolutely amazing. I die over these blushes. Well, not so much this one. That one's a little dark, but Dandelion is my favorite. Tickle is too dark, but Dallas is beautiful. Of course, the bronzer and Dandelion, like I said, my favorite. This I just got... And I actually really like it. Um, it's really, really nice. But I don't need it also. But I'm going to keep it for a little bit. <laughs> for me to decide if I want to like, you know, fully commit to getting rid of it. Then I have this Kylie blush here. It's just, just a color that I don't really gravitate towards. So I'm going to get rid of it. I have three hourglass blushes here. Um, this one's really beautiful. It's in Diffused Heat. I have another one in Dim Fusion. Really like these blushes. I hope you can see and it's not like out of focus. Maybe I should turn my brightness up a little bit. Okay, maybe that'll help. Okay, yeah, and this one's in um, Ethereal Glow. So pretty. Okay, not getting rid of. Then I have this Fenty Bronzer in into sun love this bronzer so nice these cover effects blushes are super nice too this one is in pink dahlia and then we have soft peach here these are the bees knees i prefer this side over this side because i like the like glow look this one's like really pigmented too love these blushes and then i have a fenty cream blush which i think i've used the most out of any blush in my collection it's just so beautiful and like, I don't know. It just gives you like a natural flush. This is in Petal Poppin'. Then I have this that I just can't get rid of for, you know, it's a Jaclyn collab, okay? This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, blush and then Champagne Pop, which you guys can see I got a lot of use out of, but I mean, like, I don't use it anymore. I just keep it because I have some really strange obsession with Jaclyn Hill. Judge me. I don't care. Um, and then I have this blush in Barely Legal, which you can tell is like, you know, the sun got to it. But I really liked this blush. I just cannot see myself getting rid of it, though I really need to. <laughs> um, I'll get rid of it. It's pretty old. I haven't used it in forever, so I'll get rid of it. Um, and then I have this one from ColourPop Frisky Business from the Peach Collection. I adore this blush so much. I could never get rid of it. Then I have some Charlotte Tilbury ones. This is in Walk of No Shame. I just bought and I've used it twice. It's really pretty. Love it. Love it. And then I have this one in Pillow Talk, which I've used a ton very very beautiful these are really nice blushes if i do say so myself then i have this which is the film star uh bronze and glow some people hate this thing especially since they made it in a mini but this is probably one of my favorite bronzers and like natural highlighters ever like i vibe with it i love it i love it so much same thing with this. I got this when it was on sale. Um, this is the NARS Star Scene Divine Cheek Palette. This is so beautiful. Like, this is like a highlighter. But what I do is I contour. I do this, like, near my ear, middle of my cheek, and then, like, my, like, front and center apple. And I just, like, oh, I love this stuff. Like, you can tell I've really <laughs> used it, like, a lot. And it, this is so good. This is so good. I have this Morphe bronzer in Mastermind, which I thought I was not going to like, but it's actually a beautiful bronzer. Like, 
I shocked myself when I when I liked this bronzer. Like I fell in love. Then I have this Lorac um, blush palette, which is definitely used and abused. I'm going to get rid of it, but since it's kind of old, I'm going to give this to um, a family member. Then I have this pretty vulgar resting bee scratch face. Um, I've swatched it, but I know I'm never going to use it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I have this Becca Chloe Malika one that I think got kind of bad reviews, but again, I like it. <laughs> I've used this a lot and it's really really pretty and yeah I don't see anything wrong with it. Everybody's tripping. Then I have the Fenty Cream Bronzer which I use for contouring. As you can tell I've used it a lot. There's brush hairs in it. This is good y'all. I mean I got the amber shade which is like for like really really light skin tones but I wanted to use it for contouring and it works really well but I want to get the shade darker because I really do like it. This is my first bougie bronzer purchase of course I had to buy a YSL this is in the shade sunkissed I guess I don't know but this is actually a beautiful bronzer I use the heck out of it and um, I just can't get rid of it it's like sentimental to me you know but I think it's still fine then I have the Too Faced chocolate gold one which I have swatched Never used it. Probably never going to use it. I don't like the gold shimmer, so I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in Sunkissed. I bought it. I think it came out this year. Um, this was like a $30 bronzer. <laughs> Actually, so was the other one, but I bought this one recently, and it's just too warm. Like, it's just too warm, so I cannot use it. It looks like a duty hole on me, so I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have the Kylie Cosmetics one in Toasty, which I do enjoy. It's very, very nice. Gonna keep it. Here I have a Manica Dar one. I honestly don't see myself using it. It's a blush bronzer duo, only because this is like shimmery, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, this one has been repackaged. Um, I've had this forever. This was like my favorite bronzer, but it's so old. I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have this Yinsa one, which I should honestly give it a go, but I just don't want to. It just looks too rich for me, so... I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have this Tristique one that I used once. Um, I think, it, yeah, I used the brush side. Um, I just didn't like the color on me. So I am going to give this to my niece, actually. This is my favorite bronzer of all time. The Lorac one in Pool Party. The perfect tone for me. I love it. Oh, my NARS blush and Orgasm. Y'all. This is actually a really pretty blush. I'm so excited that I have it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that over there. And then this is another one of my favorites. It, it came out this year. It's in Velharda. And um, yeah, I like this bronzer. So I'm just gonna organize these bronzers really quick. And then yeah. Okay, so that is my completed declutter. I think I got rid of a good bit. Like, I don't really need that much. So, I'm definitely feeling pretty good about the bronzer situation. I guess I can put, like, that there and this here, maybe. So, well, I can do this. So things don't slide around too much so anyways that is it for the declutter I hope that you guys enjoyed and enjoyed looking at my collection and um, yeah I'm pretty excited about it let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye